Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Hope you've had a great day or evening or whatever. Today, I'm gonna to be going over with you guys 10 different fragrances to turn heads, bold fragrances, fragrances that make a statement. Some of these are going to be niche. Some of these are going to be designer. Some of these are going to be more expensive. Some of these are gonna be pretty cheap, but each one of these definitely is gonna have you stand out from the crowd. Let's jump into this. Guys, let me know in the comments below a fragrance that you think is a bold head turner that is also not too difficult to pull off. First fragrance I wanna to talk to you guys about today is a fragrance that my wife hated, hated when I first got it in. It was her least favorite fragrance that I owned. That's how much she disliked it, but I loved it right away. And when that happens, you can do one of two things. You can either listen to your significant other and just not wear it, you know, give up on it. Or you can wear the fragrance over and over and over again until they learn to love it, which is exactly what I did. Now she really likes the fragrance, so turned out great. And I suggest you do the same thing. It will probably turn out well for you. If it doesn't turn out well for you and you guys break up, it's not my fault. Anyway, the fragrance is from Tom Ford and it is Tobacco Oud. Oh, I love it. Tobacco, whiskey, oud, spices, incense, some of the notes in the fragrance. And really, when you look at that note breakdown, not a huge surprise that at first she didn't like it so much. Tobacco, whiskey, oud, incense, all right there in the same fragrance. That's a lot. It can be a little bit overwhelming and this is a strong fragrance. That being said, I don't find the oud animalic. I don't find it off-putting. I think it smells great, like I said. First time I smelled it, fell in love with it. One of those fragrances that had me from the very first spray. But it may be a fragrance that has to grow on you or somebody else out there. That being said, it is a huge attention grabber. Sometimes positively, other times not so much, but definitely bold. And this goes for all the fragrances in this list, but it's one that you really need to wear with confidence. If you wear this fragrance and you're not really sure that you smell very good and you're kind of like slinking around, well, that's in general not a good thing to do, but especially if you're wearing one of these fragrances, probably not gonna work out for you. And if you start to get nervous about how you smell and maybe you start sweating and then the, the fragrance just starts emanating off you even more and you're sitting there like, I don't know if I smell good. Not good, don't do that. Wear it with confidence. Think you smell amazing and everyone else will too. Second fragrance on this list is from Nasamato. It is Duro. Now, when you look at Nasamato fragrances, if you're not familiar with the house, you're gonna see they come in just little 30 mil bottles and you might think, oh, I'm not really getting a whole lot for what I'm paying there, but trust me, you are. You only need a couple sprays. This one is a powerhouse fragrance, very classy, very masculine. That being said, some people might find it a bit overwhelming. So if you're not familiar with the fragrance, go light. Woods, leather, spices, and oud, some of the notes in the fragrance. And actually one thing I noticed after I made the list is that a lot of these do have oud in them, but they're not really what I would call skanky ouds, so it's okay. And if you're a skanky oud lover, more power to you in general. Nasamato is a house that's gonna have bold head-turning fragrances all across the board. My favorites though, Duro and Pardon. So either of those could go, but for this list, Duro, check it out. Next up, a fragrance from the house of Tom Ford, Noir de Noir, Black of Black. And this one does have a cheap clone alternative. If you wanted to check it out, Armoff Club de Nuit Intense Woman. Now, even though that fragrance is marketed toward women, Noir de Noir, in my opinion, completely unisex. Black rose, patchouli, truffle, vanilla, and oud. Again, some of the notes in the fragrance. This one, fantastic for nighttime wear. Again, Noir de Noir, the name kind of tells you that right off the bat. This one also really good for formal situations if you're dressed up in a suit, killer scent. And like, pretty much all the fragrances here. Performance for me, really nice. 
Let's keep this list moving so the video doesn't run super long. We're gonna go to our first designer in the list, Bulgari Man Black Orient. Leather, rum, cardamom, taif rose, and oud are some of the notes in the fragrance. Yeah, they can. Man in Black, really well known as being a fragrance similar to Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf with additional boozy notes among other things that have been tweaked and changed from the Spice Bomb DNA. Black Orient following along after Man in Black, but adding in a little additional depth, additional richness. I really like Man in Black by Bulgari, low key, great fragrance. That one in and of itself, pretty big head turner, but Black Orient, not very many people have on their radar. Not many people gonna be wearing that one at all. And the additional tweaks, additional changes here are gonna help you stand out just a little bit more. From there, let's go to Bentley for Men Intense. And this one, very, very inexpensive. You're gonna find this fragrance on countless people's lists for bang for your buck fragrances. And it absolutely is. This one gets compared to a couple of niche fragrances, Olfactive Studio Chambre Noir and Idole de Louban by Louban. Both of those houses, both of those fragrances, much more expensive than this one. Rum, incense, woods, benzoin, and leather. Some of the notes in this fragrance. Another masculine powerhouse scent. Great performance. As I said, an exceptional buy. You get a lot for what you pay for here. And this one, really for a lot of people, kind of put Bentley on the map, if you want to call it, for fragrance manufacturing. Obviously, they're most well known for their cars, but this fragrance right here, because of the quality versus the cost, makes it where when Bentley comes out with fragrances, people actually might pay a little attention. And absolutely, 100%, this one will set you apart. As I said, performance is great. You don't have to go heavy. Great night out fragrance. Uh, great formal fragrance even. Bentley from an Intense. We'll go from one cheapie to another. Encre Noir All Extreme by La Lique. The Encre Noir line, in my opinion, amazing, amazing for what you pay. You can pick these up at discounters under 30 bucks. Full presentation, 100 mils, and the fragrances just smell they smell great. This one has vetiver, incense, cypress, and resins. That's some of the notes in the scent. The original Encre Noir and Encre Noir Sport are the ones that get talked about the most. And for good reason, the original Encre Noir, to an extent, is like a nice inexpensive alternative to Chanel Sycamore. Not the exact same as Sycamore, but it's gonna give you a similar feeling, similar style for a much lower price than Encre Noir Sport is going to give you a more wearable take on that DNA. Even though it's Encre Noir Sport, it's still not really what I would consider a gym fragrance, but it is super wearable and very high quality. So this one, Encre Noir All Extreme, the one that gets talked about the least. This one, like the original, has that focus on vetiver and on cypress, but here you've got the additional resins that are going to give you a little more richness to the scent, a little more sweetness, whereas the original, a bit darker. Not that this one is not dark, because most people would say that it is. Compared to what most people are gonna be wearing though, this one 100% will set you apart and it won't cost that much to do so, at least if you live in the United States. <laughs> I know that uh, discounters are different depending on which country you live in. So when I quote that pricing to you, it's assuming that you live here. If you live elsewhere and it's super expensive there, I'm sorry. Next up from the house of Serge Luton, Ombre Sultan. This is one of my favorite amber fragrances, period. And this is one that on a good day, again in the US, at discounters you can find for a pretty good price. And this amber fragrance does not just go straight up sweet. Sometimes amber fragrances have a tendency to do that. You know, you just get warmth, sweetness, and, and that's really where they focus. Now this fragrance does have that, but the addition of the prominent bay leaf really kind of sets this one apart. It does its own thing. And that little bit of sandalwood in there as the fragrance dries down helps kind of uh, shore up the base of the fragrance 
little creamy touch from that. This one, in my opinion, smells really high class. Very nice Ombre Sultan, one of my favorites. Check it out. From there, let's go to Mansara. Red Tobacco. This one has an opening that if you've never smelled it before, there's a chance you're gonna think, what is going on with this? Because um, a few people, the first time that they've smelled red tobacco, they've just looked at me and been like, this smells like a mess. There's a lot going on in the opening and it can be jarring for some people, but as this one dries down, oof, really nice. It's, it's gonna set you apart, again, from what most people are wearing. It is a little bit loud. It's got sweetness in there. It's got tobacco in there. It's got spices. And surprisingly, really people pleasing once you get past that initial opening. Now, that being said, if you're used to the opening of red tobacco, you're probably gonna really like it. It's just for some people kind of have to grow into it. So of course this does have tobacco and has vanilla, cinnamon, and oud again. Yeah. This is one of the more popular Mancera fragrances and actually there have been a number of different tobacco scents after this one came out that have a little bit of that red tobacco DNA in it. Almost like they were inspired slightly and maybe took a, a bit or a piece from red tobacco when they were making that new scent. As far as tobacco fragrances go though, red tobacco definitely gonna set you apart from what most people are gonna be wearing. Next up, let's throw it back. Old school, Dior Fahrenheit, the Eau de Toilette. This one has leather, violet, nutmeg, uh, lavender, and woods as some of the notes in the fragrance. And it's really well known for having a petrol or gasoline kind of smell when you first spray it on. And that's gonna be mainly from the violet in the fragrance in the opening. I personally love it. And I can remember the very first time I smelled Fahrenheit, which was years and years ago. And I was just blown away. To me at the time, at the time, it smelled absolutely like gasoline, absolutely like petrol. I couldn't identify it as anything else. It's just when I sprayed it on, that's what I smelled. Now, as time has gone and I've smelled more things, uh, obviously I can tell it's, it's not gasoline, but, <laughs> If you're just getting into fragrances and you smell that, that's probably how you're gonna perceive it. And it smells freaking awesome. <laughs> Some people who don't like fragrances from decades past, probably not gonna dig Fahrenheit nowadays. You know, they're gonna wear the more modern men's fragrances and I get that, but to your Fahrenheit, even to this day, if you wear it, very bold and people will take notice. And last up, a bit of a, a different kind of fragrance here. This one, not like the others. Toy Boy from Moschino. Rose, pink pepper, magnolia, pear, and cashmere. Some of the notes in this one. And this fragrance for me, unisex. It's a fresh fragrance. It's floral, uh, very floral forward actually, but it smells great. This one, another fragrance that I think is really, really high quality. It is a fragrance that I think is gonna be a little divisive for some guys. Uh, it's gonna be maybe too feminine for some guys out there. But if you can rock this one with confidence and pull it off, absolutely, you're gonna stand out. In a good way, in a good way, not in a bad way. Now it does have that cashmere in there as it dries down. So that's gonna give you a little bit of that modern, warm, fuzzy sort of dry down that people really, really do like nowadays. But at its heart, this one is gonna be a fresh, fruity, floral scent. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for me. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Stay safe out there. Thanks for all your support. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.